Hello everyone. In this video we are going to analyze an active uh, filter. So as you can see in this circuit uh, there are uh, operational amplifiers used but uh, the process to calculate the transfer function uh, obviously is exactly the same as what we had before. So we're going to start by labeling the circuit. That would be my VI. This node would be, um, let's call that V1. And this node right here, therefore, knowing that this is uh, basically a negative feedback in the circuit, these two are going to be the same. So this would be V1. I'm going to call this one V2. And therefore, the voltage right here would be all the same as V2 or since we already have V out labeled for this and that's what we're going to use I'm going to change this label to call this one V out and then we have a current here I1 there's a current here I2 but then I1 and I2 are equal to each other because there's no current going into this node so I'm going to call that one also I1 and then there's a current here I2 and again same current I2 right there um, this is obviously ground with that uh, we can start writing equations there's no KCL we don't have to write any KCL for this one so I'm going to just write equations for components for the component and all the all the equations that I'm going to write are going to be in S domain. So for the resistor R1, we have I1 equal to VI minus V1 divided by R1. For the resistor, for the capacitor C1, we have I1 is equal to um, V1 minus V out CS or divided by 1 over Cs which tends to Cs then for R2 we have I2 equal to uh, V1 minus V out divided by R2 and finally for the resistor uh, for the capacitor C2 we have I2 equal to V out C Two S and we'll see one S by the way. So V out C one C two S. So I can equate these two by each other and calculate V out as a function of V one. Uh, so V out over V one ends up being. 1 over C2S divided by 1 over C2S plus R2 uh, which is 1 over R2C2S plus 1 now uh, therefore I can calculate V1 as a function of V out so that would be V1 is equal to V out times 1 plus R2 C2S. So now I can equate these two to each other, these two equations. So VI minus V1 is equal to R1C1S times V1 minus V out. Now I move things around. So VI is equal to um v1 times 1 plus r1 c1 s minus r1 c1 s v out now i can use this put that in that equation so vi is equal to v1 r1 uh, 1 plus r1 c1 s minus actually so that would be 
V out times 1 plus R2 C2 S times 1 plus R1 C1 S minus R1 C1 S V naught. This turns out to be V naught uh, times R1 R2 C1 C2 S to the power of 2 plus R2 C2 S plus 1. So now from this I can calculate HS the transfer function which is V out over VI and that's equal to 1 over R1 R2 C1 C2 S to the power of 2 plus R2 C2 S uh, plus 1. So now Hj omega would be equal to 1 over uh, 1 minus R1 R2 C1 C2 omega to the power of 2 plus R2 C2 omega j. And now from this I can calculate the magnitude of Hj omega as 1 over square root of the real to the power of 2 which is 1 minus r1 r2 c1 c2 omega to the power of 2 the whole thing to the power of 2 plus the imaginary to the power of 2 which is r2 to the power of 2 c2 to the power of 2 omega to the power of 2. So now from this I can now uh, look at the behavior of the filter at omega equal to zero um, the denominator turns to one so the magnitude of the transfer function at omega equal to zero is one at high frequencies uh, or omega approaching infinity the denominator actually turns into infinity and hj omega turns to zero so this is basically a low pass filter now you could actually conclude that just by uh, investigating or inspecting the circuit itself so for low frequencies a capacitor would be an open circuit um, so at that point this voltage and this voltage are the same there's no current so this voltage becomes V out and therefore V is turns into therefore also V out and V out and VI are the same at that point at high frequencies this becomes a short circuit uh, which directly connects V out to this node right here and it also connects this node directly to ground so therefore this becomes zero and therefore this becomes zero and the zero ends up being right here and uh, so the output becomes zero for high frequencies now um, I hope this has been helpful and thank you for your attention.